So hello everybody, how are you doing? Yes, we are sitting finally in an electric powered car again. Even an electric powered car with an RS badge. Uh, more to mention the VRS badge actually, which is in this nice neon uh, yellow or neon green color. Um, this is the Skoda Anyak Coupe or Coupe. Um, as an RS model, that means more or less from a platform perspective, it's MEB platform and it's uh, most similar, let's say, to the ID5 GTX. So we already drove the ID4 GTX, so probably expecting similar, let's say, acceleration numbers here. Um, but you, of course, can see, yeah, it has this nice slope uh, from from the rear and also some very nice and aggressive uh, design outside, which which I like. Also like the wheels, I think they fit to the car very well. And um, as we also know it from Skoda, a very nice interior. We have RS bucket seats in full leather here. Also a full leather dashboard right here. I believe actually that there's an option, at least I've seen it, that you also get Alcantara um, on the seats at some parts at the seats and you also get Alcantara somewhere here at this part or this part. I'm not fully sure, but that looks really, really nice and therefore, um, yeah, also a worthy option, I would say, uh, to take. Overall, quality is, is solid, I would say. I would not say it's better than uh, the VW ID4 uh, GTX that we had, but from a design perspective, it looks really nice. And um, we also have the big screen, um, which is also similar to the ID4, ID5. Uh, but yeah, without further talking, you have heard everything. Um, let's set off, see how fast the car goes on the race box, country road first, zero to 100. And of course, later on, yeah, an autobahn run to the top speed of 180 kilometers um, to also see how good the pull through performance is. We have 93% state of charge. So uh, pretty much, let's say ideal conditions. Um, so without further talking, let's see how fast it goes. Six point two six seconds. That's what the race box is showing us here. I believe that was very, very similar with the ID4 GTX actually. Um, I believe we were also uh, in the low six seconds with that car. So let's now head out onto the autobahn for a top speed run. Oh, some dynamic driving here. See how quickly we can throw this car into the bands. It's a heavy car, but yeah, the weight is down below. Quite good, I would say, for a two-ton SUV. Pulling away now. Oh, this is almost top speed. Yeah, very easily. I think we have seen some pretty nice uh, runs, most what we expected, I would say. Um, a bit more than six seconds to 100, um, 6.2, something around that. And on the other hand, um, also a pretty good pull, I would say, onto the Autobahn to 180 kilometers per hour, and uh, which it also reaches on GPS almost here. So a bit more on speedo, or you could say the speedo is very accurate. Um, yeah, numbers that we expected. I, I would say, as I said, overall good quality, good looks from the outside. Um, um, yeah, it is a heavy car, but it doesn't feel like a heavy car. Um, it's 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 very usable. A super nice panoramic sunroof, um, and also all the design elements outside. Um, so I would say a very good package and a very good offer from VW Group again in in, in that MEB platform. And yeah, if the ordering 
waiting times weren't that long. I think many of you would like to have one of those, but yeah, I'm not sure. I think they're almost up to 12 months, something like that. But maybe you have to check out with your dealer. Maybe there are some left um, that you can get yeah, in summer 2023 or even earlier. Let's see.